guys, welcome to Ate Channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. As we work on more videos about motion caps, we realize there's a lot of rapidly growing softwares, web services, apps that helping animation creating process easier and more accessible. So we're always here to check and uh, if we hear anything cool, we'd like to share with you guys. Lately, we've heard about this old motion capturing web service called DeepMotion and we look, at, look into it and then did a little test. It seems like this web service, is you don't really need any webcam or, or hardware sensor or a powerful computer. You don't need any of that. All you need is a video clip. So, and then it's like um, monthly subscription based. Yeah, we will put the link underneath our video. So go take a look. They showed all these, how much you pay per month. And then at the beginning, it's a free, you can create a free account and try their service for 30 seconds. So yeah, in this episode, we'll give a little try and let you guys see how this web service works. In my opinion, after I try, I think, if you are a dancer or you want to import a, like some like mm, pretty complicated dance moves into a animation studio cl animation clip, you don't need to go to a fancy uh, studio to take this to make this motion cap. I think this web service can be great for that purpose because it's really capturing the accurate any like accurate dance moves, big movement. Of course, you can't put three, four people in one video and expect to capture all the motion. I think one person is more accurate for sure. So yeah, let's get started and go through the process and see the result. So we go to their website. The first thing you need to do is create account and you will go to the dashboard. You get your password and everything and you go to their dashboard. You will see on the home page. Everything seems pretty simple and uh, straightforward. You need an animation 3D clouds and it will guide you to this menu. From home, you can create animation and see all this current status, like how long you've been recorded and then how, how many custom avatar you've been uploaded. And then there's also a library there. You can check all the previous videos you've created in that library. So yeah, then first one, when, when you wanted to create animation, click create animation, then you will be able to choose different avatars. You should be able to choose default or custom avatars. With the default avatar, we tried. So if you it's definitely work for Unity, the default avatar, because it's humanoid animation. So the default avatar definitely works for Unity as well. You just have, you have a lot of options like with body shapes and the gender. So the default avatar is good, or you can import your own avatar. In our case, of course, I want to import my avatar, which is the Vroid avatar. Vroid avatar is not supported in this web service, but you can just, I will tell you in details how we import our VRM file, but they do have another option. They integrate Ready Player Me with their web service. So if you want an avatar that looks like you and then dance or do any kind of animation, then you can just directly use their Ready, Ready Player Me feature and import that avatar, you will see that we make a little clip here. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. In our case, we want to import a VRED avatar. So you need a B FBX file instead of VRM file on this web service. So all you need to do is go to the Blender and use the CAT plugin to import a VRM file and click fix model. If you try to import this this file right away, you will probably see this. There will be a note saying all joint must named unique and use without any spaces. Yeah, but by some reason, v right avatar, you will always have some spaces. So we need to you need to delete all of them. 
there is around 10 of them. I think we deleted. Now you can export the FBX file, select the model and import it. After you import, you will see on the thumbnail that seems like there's no texture on, on the avatar, but that shouldn't be a problem be because all we need is the bone animation. Now you can upload the video. Uh, as I mentioned before, like we're testing about this 30 second free. If you're testing the 30 second free, the highest resolution is 720p and 30 FPS. So if your video file is too big, make sure you downsize it. Yeah, make sure you convert it into the 720p and, they, and then they will start to process this video. In our case, we download the royalty free dance clips. So yeah, as you can see, it will take like a couple of minutes, not too long, like under four minutes, I think. You can see the animation preview. Yeah, you can totally see the result of this, this motion cap example. The thing is, it's only 30 seconds as I mentioned. So if you want to test something complicated, make, maybe you can cut into five seconds and then see if you like that, if it's very accurate. For with our example, I can see like it really, it works really well. So now you can download the bone animation into three options, BVH file, GLB file, and uh, FBX file. In this video, we will download this too, which is BVH file and then the FBX file because we want to use the BVH file compare with the TDPT. That's one of, we, we've made two videos about TDPT. It's the app to make motion capture video. We'll compare these two bone animation in Blender. Later, we will see. And then with the B FBX file, we wanted to import to Unity and then use in the VR chat as the emote. We also talk about with the TDPT motion cap app. If you want to know more, please click on our videos. Before we go to next step, we also want to try something more like the make the dance move more complicated and see how it looks. So I download this royalty free breakdancing clip and then try it with it. And you can see it's it's pretty interesting. We will we will compare with the TDPT as well. Exactly the same clip. Yeah, I will show you in a sec. When we try to export a BVH file from DeepMotion and import to Blender and then the TDPT, the same clip of the breakdancing files, we realized the the one from DeepMotion is the scale is very big. And then from TTPT, the scale is very small. So you have, we have to adjust, make it same size to be able to, for you guys to see more clearly how to compare. So, so far, the difference we can see is the process from TTPT is much easier, less restriction because it's all done in local. And, but as you can see with the deep motion, the animation itself is way more accurate and the quality is better. I recommend it both way, but depends on what you what your purpose is. And then, of course, if you don't have iPhone, then you can't use the TTPT. So in that case, this web service is more accessible for sure. So now let's go to Unity. In Unity, you can just exit the zip file and then import a drop the FBX file in. Once you click Click on this animation, you will see how it works in VR chat. Now I'm going to VR chat and then see this breakdancing move as the emote. And let's go take a look. Okay. Let me show you my breakdance move. Let me show you my breakdance move. Here it goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, I really feel like I can bring that break dance. Oh, I'm floating! <laughs> Especially the last move. Look at the last move. Whee! Wow. <laughs> okay, another one. 
This is like the. Is it working? Yeah, this is like the regular dance. We'll save with one we try it with a TDPT. I really like the break dancing. Yeah, although it's like floating. What did, which one is that? Ah, uh, this is the first one we did with a TDPT. Remember the one we um kind of copied from this TikTok dance? Yeah, break dance. Let's go. D motion break dancing. <laughs> Woo! Woo! -woo! This is very cool. <laughs> Can definitely show off to friends. Hey yo, how is going? And then break dance. <laughs> That's wild. You can never do that in real life. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, cool. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, I'm floating. So by some reason, when we're uh, seeing this animation on Unity, it doesn't float or sink in. But um, I don't know what's the reason. On VR chat, it shows like that, but it doesn't really hurt. Like for me, it's still cool. It just, if you guys know, if you imported or tried it, if it's not sinking or it's very accurate, let me know how it works. But I think it's the VR chat. So yeah, it looks great on Unity. So if you want to use this for game developing purpose, it's no problem at all. It's more about if you're using VRChat as a mode to show off to your friends, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, what we've been talking about coverall recently is really just to give a lot of options for our audience to create, because it's all about creating um, inspiring for you guys to try different things and make all these new technologies more accessible right that's all we talk about all the time and then yeah i can't wait to see what you guys been creating and let us know cool i'm happy Bye -bye. <laughs> that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching please subscribe our channel for new updates every week and join our discord server for more conversations and connect with more like-minded creators thanks for watching see you